Now we're gonna make this beautiful, elegant wreath bow that's perfect anytime during the fall. So let's get started. I'm gonna take my Bow Dabber bow wire and I'm folding it in half and I'm just gonna lay it down into my Bow Dabber and just tuck the ends underneath. Then I'm gonna take this beautiful ribbon and all I'm gonna do here is find the right side of my ribbon. So this is the right side. I'm gonna put it upside down and I'm just gonna scrunch this in. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is come back around and I'm gonna just take the again the right side of the ribbon and I'm just going to scrunch this into my bodabra. And then I'm going to just scrunch the middle in and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna take the right side of my ribbon and put it down into my bodabra. And then I'm gonna take this, bring it back around, scrunch this into my bodabra, bring this back around and again, go into the center and I'm just gonna kind of shape it a little bit as I go. And then take my last piece and take the right side of my ribbon, put this down into my bodabra. And while you're watching, if you wouldn't mind clicking the little subscribe button below, that would be awesome. And then that way you'll get a notification every time we do a new video. So now I'm just gonna scrunch this in here and separate the end and just kind of shape this all out here so it's easier to shape when I pull it out of the bow dabra. Scrunch this down. And then I have these two absolutely beautiful picks. They're from Catherine's collection. And I'm gonna put one going this way. And I just love the different patterns um, of the, the, um, the glitter and the velvet that's in these picks. So I'm just gonna lay these across. And then I have my glitter mesh and I've already dovetailed the ends, but just in case you're not familiar, in order to dovetail, you just fold the ribbon in half and you just click, you cut it at a diagonal from the fold to the corner. And that's what gives you the beautiful dovetailed ends. So I'm just gonna fold this in half. We have three of these. So we're just gonna put these going different directions. And I'll take one more piece. And also, if you're not aware, every Monday, I do a Facebook Live. And oops, I've got these three pieces here. And this again is one of the beautiful Catherine's Collection ribbons. We're just gonna scrunch this in here. Bring this back around and scrunch that in. And then scrunch this in the middle. I'm doing the same thing as we did on the bottom. We're just gonna take the, the right side of the ribbon, put it going downwards. I'm gonna scrunch that in, bring this back around, and do exactly the same thing. Bring that in and scrunch it in. And then scrunch the top one in. And then one of the things about the Catherine's Collection ribbon is just that it's fully lined. It's a very, very high quality ribbon. So then I'm gonna just take this piece here, bring it back around and scrunch that in. Then what I'll do is I have um, these pieces of our Bodabra rhinestone mesh and I just took it and cut it in half. So I have two pieces and I'm just gonna lay the first piece going this way and then the second piece going down in here. And this could also be a really pretty mantle bow. Really so many uses. And then this is our Bodabra paint splitter. And I've already dovetailed the ends. Bring this back over here. And then we are gonna perch our adorable little bird right on top. So he's gonna go right in there. And oopsie daisy, my pick came out. So we'll put him in there. Then I'm gonna just take my Bodabra wand and scrunch everything down. And when the bodabra gets really full, sometimes you just have to pull the towers apart. So we've got a lot of stuff in this bodabra. So then what I'm gonna do is hold it all down there, bring my wire up, bring the other wire, oops, caught on the bottom of my bodabra. Bring that through, pull it really tight, pull it through my slip knot, pull it really tight while it's still in my bodabra. Then I'm gonna pull it out. 
and take this and bring it around to the back. Tight, really tight, then bring it around to the back. And I'm going to tie a knot back here and tie another knot. And I'm gonna leave the ends because then I can use this to tie it onto my wreath or if you want it as a mantle garland, you'll have everything that you need right here. So now I'm just going to shape it out. And my bird does not want to stay on the pick, so we are going to cheat. I'm just going to put a little glue dot here and just sit him right in the center. Now, obviously, I would use um, I would use a glue gun for that. If you have a temperamental bird, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Please comment below and let me know what you think. And um, also we'll have a link to where you can enter our contest. We do a monthly contest. And then we also do a weekly giveaway on our Facebook Live. So now you have this absolutely gorgeous um, centerpiece or wreath bow that you will just get so many compliments on. So please like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you in our next video.